How's it going, guys? Welcome back for another edition of Too Fast Two Duels. I'm here, as always, with my lovely co-host Dakota. How's it going? Oh, just great today. So, as always, uh, this being a YouTube channel, before we get into it, we would like to ask that you guys don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you are so willing. We always like to see some engagement down in the comment section. Anything you want to talk about, you know, things you liked about the episode, things you didn't like, any misplays you might have seen, uh, thoughts for future episodes. Maybe we'll do a special every once in a while. You never know. But to get into the episode then, so if you are new or returning, this is a speed duel series where we have all the skill cards of speed duel on a wheel and we will assign each other one skill per duel or per episode, excuse me. And we will have 20 minutes to build a deck around said skill. And after those 20 minutes are up, we will spend the next hour long doing a match best two out of three. Correct. Correct. <laughs> oh, with the intros care. out of the way, I'll just uh, go ahead and spin first. All right. All right, what do we got here? Um, power up. Yami Yugi. Yami Yugi? Yeah, he's powering up. He's leveling up. Power up. This is uh probably when he goes from the long sleeve jacket to just wearing it as a uh, cape. Yeah. <laughs> well, he is wearing it as a cape. Aha! I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how it's sticking to him, though. Unless that choker's doing it. Uh, It's like excess gel from his hair that has, like, wetted it's down to the shoulders <laughs> yeah yeah okay well luckily this is a very short and simple skill for you i like it so power up yami yugi skill for activation flip this card over when you activate this skill for the effect activate this skill during your main phase once per duel you can make one face up monster on the field gain 500 attack until the end of this turn you get a one time 500 buff what the i hate this i hate it that is it. All right, so I get a one time, once per 500 duel, buff. five hundred buff. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're uh, not limited to anything. There's not a lot for me to play around because it has to be on your turn. Yeah. Um. I don't know. You landed on the right hero for the job. Well, that is a Jaden skill. Activation, flip this card over when you activate this skill. Effect, once per duel during your main phase, you can shuffle one elemental hero monster you control into your deck, then special summon one level four or lower elemental hero monster from your main deck with a different name than the shuffled card. I have to control it, which is not ideal, but... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it'd be better from, like, the hand, but, um, I don't know. It seems like just a way to kind of um, switch out your targets for Polly. Yeah, definitely. That's what I'm thinking there. But um, yeah, it seems like uh, both these cards are a bit lackluster, but maybe that's uh, what's going to make this a, uh, a better game. Or a lackluster game. Yeah, <laughs> or just like a lackluster game altogether. A lackluster <laughs> game. Am I right, guys? <laughs> but uh, I think this yeah. is a first. Is this not a first of uh, two protagonists? Yeah, definitely. Man. Yeah. Regardless, uh, we're we're getting our protagonist duel now. Yeah. Just uh, these are some weird ones. These sound like first iteration skill cards. Like you don't want them to be yeah. too powerful because you don't know very... how the game's gonna play out. <laughs> Especially yours. Very basic. Yeah. It's like even worse than a field spell. Really. Yeah. Because at least a field spell, field spell will give you a constant buff. That's actually even worse than a uh, an equip card because at least I get to keep it. You know. Yeah, this is once per turn and then once per duel. You better use it carefully. Yeah. Well, bud, uh, I think I'm ready to uh, just uh, breeze through this one as quickly as possible. You're like, let's get it over with. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just uh, waiting for this one to fly by. Well, I'll take a win where I can get one. <laughs> let's get to it. All right. All right, guys, we are back after 20 minutes. I, as you know, got a Jaden skill, which means you know exactly what I'm playing. And I have a segue into this, don't you worry. Now, I have been without a loss for quite some time on this channel. I have been holding out for just the right deck to land in my lap, okay? You might even say that, like Bonnie Tyler, I'm holding on for a hero. So I've got two copies of Elemental Hero Avion. 
two copies of Bubble Man. I'm going to run through these pretty quick. Two copies of Versinatrix, two copies of Blade Edge. Uh, those are all basically just tribute, uh, or not tribute, fusion fodder minus Blade Edge. Avion, Bubble Man, and Versinatrix will let me fusion into pretty much any of my fusions in my extra deck. Blade Edge is a good two tribute that I have ways to cheat out that does piercing battle damage. Probably the most important normal monster, normal summon monster in my deck is Blaze Man. So Blaze Man has two effects. First effect, when he's normal or special summoned, I can add Poly from deck to hand, or, because I can only use one per turn, not both, once per turn, or he, he can I can pitch a Elemental Hero monster, and then he copies his attack and defense till the end of the turn. That card could actually be handled pretty well in combo with the next one, Elemental Hero Necroshade. So Necroshade, when it's in the graveyard, I can use its effect to normal summon a level five or higher Elemental Hero monster without tributing. Hello, Blade Edge. And the next card, two copies of a hero emerges. So if Dakota decides to attack me, he can choose a random card from my hand. If it's a monster, it's special summoned. Otherwise, it goes to the graveyard. Once again, hello, Blade Edge. Skyscraper, it's a field spell. I've run two copies of that. So if an element of hero monster attacks a monster with higher attack, the element of hero monster will gain a thousand attack for damage calc only. And if anybody out here knows heroes, all the base heroes have pretty low attack stats. So high likelihood I'll get some buffs there. Two copies of Hero Counterattack. So when an elemental hero monster I control is destroyed by battle, he gets to choose a random card from my hand, reveal it, and if it's an elemental hero, I destroy one monster that he controls and then special summon the chosen monster. So it's like a sort of better hero emerges because I get to pop one too. One copy of Polly, which is searchable by Blazeman, and one copy of Dark Fusion because I am running an evil hero in the extra deck and the Dark Fusion not only lets me summon that evil hero, but it prevents it from being uh, targeted with card effects for that whole turn. Going into the side deck now, two copies of Fifth Hope. This is a bit of a weird pick, but depending on how long these games go, it would be nice to shuffle back some fodder I used for fusion summons, and I get to draw two cards off to that to boot. So it keeps me in the game, and it lets me draw two. Skyscraper two, two copies, just in case Skyscraper one isn't quite working out in my favor. Skyscraper 2 is a little different. Uh, once per turn, I can target an elemental hero monster in my graveyard that was destroyed by battle and special summon it. And then finally, two copies of R, Righteous Justice. This lets me destroy as many spell and traps on the field, equal to the number of elemental heroes I control. Finally, for the extra deck, we have elemental hero Nova Master. He only needs one hero monster and one fire monster. He is the most vague of all of mine. It must be fusion summoned, and if it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, I draw a card. Now, the face of the elemental hero monsters. To go with Jaden, I have two copies of Flame Wingman. He requires Avion and Bersinatrix. If he destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the destroyed monster in the graveyard. Inferno Wing. It's just a dark Flame Wingman, essentially with a better effect. So it must be fusion summoned with Dark Fusion. If it attacks a defense position monster, it gets piercing battle damage. And if it destroys that monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, I get to inflict damage to Dakota equal to the original attack or defense of that monster, whichever one was higher. Finally, last card, I have Elemental Hero Mariner. So he is summoned by Bubble Man and Avion. And as long as I have any back row set on the field, he can attack directly. Oh, that's my deck. I've been holding out for a hero for quite some time. I'm pretty excited to see what I can do with this deck. I've never actually played Heroes before, really. So as far as the speed duel setting, I think I have a pretty good amount of fusion summons. I have Blade Edge in here, and I have ways to get them all out on the field pretty easily. So I think we got this one in the bag. Let's go. All right, guys, we're back after 20 minutes. I did need all 20 minutes to figure out what I was going to play for this episode. And I don't know why I leaned into this, but you know what fuck it we're doing it so for my deck profile uh it's not really much of one strategy it's like i don't know it kind of is it kind of isn't it's just weird because my skill card is so big i didn't know exactly what to play but i came across some cards scrolling around seeing what was available in speed duels and these are just some of the cards that i found i just started throwing everything in there and then eventually slimmed it down We'll just run through it really quickly. So I'm playing three copies of the Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy. If I have no monsters, I can just special summon it. The other effect will never come up. I'm kind of just using it for the free special to, if I need the body to protect myself. 
but it's also a dark target. We're playing three copies of Lava Golem, so this is pretty much my kind of win con of the deck. Heroes can be really scary. I don't think that they typically can do a lot going first um, or their turn one, but uh, it will steamroll out of control very quickly. Once he gets two bodies on the board, I'm just going to give him the Lava Golem, and then during the standby phase, he's going to get burned for a thousand. Three wing Karibo, I can just set this card and then whenever it gets destroyed and sent to the graveyard, I take no more battle damage. Three Death Koala. So again, this is another dark target, but it also has a pretty good defense. So it's probably going to take up to his fusion summons to get rid of this card. But uh, either way, it's going to get flipped and he's going to take some burn damage. We got two copies of Allure of Darkness. This is just to draw additional cards. The cards that we want to be drawing into are the Wobokus. I take no battle damage for the rest of the turn. And also my monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. Two Reflex Slime. This is just to have a 3000 defense uh, wall to protect myself even further. And Zoma. This is kind of just to protect myself while at the same time like I can, you know, put this into attack and just end the game myself. Finally, for the extra deck, I can't make any of these. I kind of just threw random cards in here to maybe potentially get Cody swayed off on what it is that I'm trying to do. But I'm sure that... <laughs> I'm sure as soon as he's going to see the Lava Golem, he's going to see what I'm doing and he'll probably play around it. But um, I don't know, maybe he'll think that uh, there's something else in my deck that uh, he has to be weary of. But yep, that's the deck profile. Again, didn't know what to do. So we're just going to be toxic as fuck and we're going to piss him off. <laughs> and uh, but uh, hopefully we can have some fun doing it. All right, bud, here we are. Yep, here we are what was about four minutes for me and uh 19 minutes and 57 seconds for you yeah so i already said it kind of like off camera or whatever but uh yeah i like having the the cuffs off when it comes to skill cards sometimes you get to create whatever it is you want but uh i was actually expecting to land on something that was almost pre-built for me uh maybe like a certain archetype or something but um yeah i had no idea what to do for this <laughs> Maybe you should start going second then, because it seems I do that a lot now. <laughs> I'm not so sure how uh, my skill card is going to uh, be effective. This could be my episode. This this could be your episode, yeah. You've, you've got a fairly weak skill card. Your deck took you to the limits in building. I finally have a chair. <laughs> yeah, you can swivel now. <laughs> be the Mobility. Uh, Dr. Evil villain. I need an old priest and a young priest. The power of Christ compels you. I could uh, I could throw the lock switch off and just like real quick, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, like your skill card's not uh, too fantastic either. But um, the fact that it allows you to kind of just switch around your heroes, give you correct folly targets, and uh, heroes are actually um, quite good. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm interested to uh, see how this goes. I've got my pick in. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Lucky die. Lucky die. Lucky die. Let's see. Damn. Lucky die. Today's not my day. Today's not my die. <laughs> oh. The choice is yours. I'll take card advantage. Okay. Respectable. All right. So I don't have to flip my skill right away like other skill cards, but um, I will set one and pass it back all right a simple turn i like it very simple let's go standby to main that's cool yep all right let's start with this quick set all right and then i'm going to summon elemental hero burst into tricks he's here she's here she's there she's there everywhere it's not a battle phase all right I will attempt to attack with percentage tricks. I will take it. Okay. Main phase two. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Wait a um, you're all good. Yep. All good. All right. Nothing in standby. No. All right. We'll go to main phase. Uh, let's start with a allure. That is fine. Draw two cards. I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of this uh, evil hero. Oh, I'm going to set one and pass it back. Okay. That's cool. Stand by to main. Okay. Yep. What do I want to do here? Pass. 
think I'm gonna do it. I think when I took my skill card. You're gonna get rid of Bristina trick, but look at her. I am. But look at her. She has booba. <laughs> She's hot. <laughs> Quite literally. Yeah, let's activate that skill. So we are going to shuffle Bursina tricks back into the deck. We will special summon. Wait a no, actually level four lower. I know. That'd be cool though. <laughs> That'd be cool. Blade Edge Turbo. <laughs> Blaze Man. Oh, okay. Now that effect will activate if that's fine. That is fine. Okay, I will add a poly from deck to hand. Oh, let's see. Oh, I'm checking out the extra deck. Got some options. Yeah. Yeah, duh. Thinking now. <laughs> um. I'm Lincoln now. Yeah. Let's sack. Or Necro Shade. Okay. Okay. Battle phase. Uh, sure. I will attack in. Des Koala. <laughs> yeah. So that's 200 for the attack. <laughs> and then 1600 for the hand. Correct. Good Lord. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll end there. All right. I will draw. I'll go standby to main if that's okay with you. That is fine. Well, let's just, uh, I don't know. I'll just pass. Okay. Standby to main. Cool. Yep. Let's activate polymerization. Sure. I'm going to pitch Avion. And Bubble Man or Mariner. Okay, so you can attack directly now? As long as I have back row set. Okay. All right. And then uh, I am going to. Let's go battle phase. All right. I will attempt to attack directly for 14. Uh, Waboku. That is fun. All right. I'll end there. I will draw. We'll go standby into main. What a classic card. <laughs> well, Boku, yeah. Uh, all right, buddy. Here you go. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. Are you playing a strict burn strategy here? <laughs> is that what this is? You're like, I don't know what to play. I'm going to play burn. Uh, go ahead and switch that to uh, defense there for me, bud. <laughs> and... Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll set one and I'll set another and I'll pass it back. All right. Uh, um, so stand by, take a thousand. Yes, you will. To main, is that fine? That is fine. That is fine, he says. <laughs> okay. Well, now that you're being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to activate the effect of Necro Shade. To let me... Uh, normal summon a level five or higher elemental hero without tributing. Sure. I will choose Blade Edge. He's here. He is here. I will put Golem in attack mode. Sure. Oh, I fucked up. This should actually be in hand because I gave you Lava Golem. Oh, you can't normal summon or set the turn you're supposed to summon <laughs> this card. Correct. Okay. okay. Well. That didn't change anything on your play, right? Not really. Okay. At least not yet. Everything I would have done would have been the same. I guess we'll go battle. All right. I will go in with Blade Edge. Oboku. Okay. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> I'll go standby if that's okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> the fucking cojones on this guy. <laughs> let's, um, let's lure. All right. Looking for that third Wabaku. I'll get rid of uh, Koala. <laughs> get rid of him. <laughs> uh, go ahead and put that in defense then too. Already on it. Back to you. <laughs> Main phase? Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm going to normal summon. Well, first thing, I'm going to put him in attack mode. 
Sure. Normal summon Avion. Yeah. Activate Skyscraper. Um. Yeah. Battle phase. Sure. I will attack Koala with Avion, and then with Skyscraper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you talk to <laughs> toxic motherfucker holy shit <laughs>
<laughs> god oh damn. my god <laughs> i don't even know what i'm supposed to do against this shit this skill card is true power up <laughs> you didn't even power up you just turned the heat up <laughs> i bumped the uh koala <laughs> i got that attack to go through <laughs> yeah all of game two i was playing against the golem oh you were hey, smart hey, too. oh my god <laughs> jesus yeah okay yeah, I had hero emerges down. Uh, I was trying to bait you into an attack. That's why I set Versinatrix. Oh, uh, okay. Because then I could summon Blade Edge. True. At the time, I only had Blade Edge in my hand. Oh, okay, yeah. But uh, then I got a second Blade Edge and Avion and Necroshade. Oh, uh, don't you have uh, Poly targets for Necroshade? Uh, not in this deck, no. But there are some. Like I know the the fire one. That's pretty generic because it just says Elemental Hero. No, I think uh, some of the ones that specifically say Necro Shade are uh, actually pretty decent. Um, they're, I mean, like they're okay, but it's also yeah. just nice to have one that that lists it just so that you could poly it off and then you can use the normal summon effect. All right, what have we got here? Jesus Christ! Why is Evil Hero in here? Uh, it's a free special. Oh. So it's a free special and it's also a uh, a lore target. So if I need uh, to protect yeah. myself, I can have two bodies on the field uh, turn one. Um, or if I need to draw cards, it's just the extra dart because I'm only doing him and Koala. But uh, yeah, one that you didn't get to see, but I did have it set was the uh, Wing Karibo just to keep myself alive a bit longer. You've got Wing Karibo and Wabaku to stall the game. You've got Metal Reflect Slime and Zoma for troublesome trap monsters. Zoma also plays into your heavy burn package with Lava Golem and Koala. Yep. You've got a lore to draw. Yep. <laughs> Toxic motherfucker. <laughs> I see that you're playing the uh, Dark Fusion. Getting out the uh, Inferno Wing. Never drew the card, though. Does piercing. Uh, destroys a monster by battle. Inflict damage equal to the original attack or defense, or whichever is higher. Man, they did uh, so much with the same shit with Flame Wing Man. Just to try to try to get something similar to this card being playable. I know. That's crazy. I mean, the evil hero one is definitely better. It just it has to be summoned with Dark Fusion. Well, even then, like that's not much of a restriction though, because it's like that's still better. Because no. it's and like Dark the... Fusion even gives it protection for a turn with yeah. effects. Yeah. So all around, like it's just the evil hero stuff just way better but um yeah you uh cracked out the mariner again trying to go in for those uh attack directly moves don't know why i i never thought about you playing uh stall burn <laughs> you wanna you wanna see my uh my fusion target sure <laughs> how the fuck are they in here to confuse you <laughs> I wasn't going to, but it was like last second. I'm like, you know, what if I just throw shit into my extra deck to make them think that, you know, I do have extra deck plays. Did, did that uh, ever, did that I ever was, pop up in your head? Not really. Okay. It's not even after game, especially after game one. I was like, he's not even using his extra deck. There's no point. <laughs> I could have. I mean, again, in game one, you only saw like half of these cards. You only saw like the golem, the koala, uh, and Wabaku. You didn't even see the Karibo or the Reflex Slime or Zoma. Yeah, but here's the thing. It worked so well. You had a counter for everything I did. You shut down every play I made when I made it. Why would you want to go into... Unless you didn't draw into anything you needed, why would you go into your extra deck unless you had to? Maybe I would have like a, a game state where it's like I could do the Lava Golem to you and then I could make the uh, Alligator Sword Dragon and attack. Who knows what he has in the extra deck? Maybe some Dragoon shenanigans. That's what I was expecting you to go into, honestly. When you had no idea what you were going to do, I was like, I wonder if he brings back Dragoon. Nah, I've seen it before. I've played it before. It's, uh, unless, like, I have a skill card that has something to do with heroes that, like, it makes it fit, I, I'm kind of just done with it. I remember the very first card you pitched was Evil Heroes. I was like, is he playing Heroes? Because I saw the extra deck there. Yep. <laughs> but none of your other cards were centered around that. It's like, okay, well, that ain't it. Well, so again, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards that you didn't see in game one. Like, that could have easily been, you know, some poly targets and poly itself or like Dark Fusion or whatever. So, yeah. definitely possible. But uh, no, I didn't go for it. 
all right guys that's gonna bring it into this episode thanks again for watching if you like the video like comment down below we want to hear your feedback also hit the subscribe button for more content just like this with that out of the way we'll see you guys again next time bye bye